More so than ever before, applications that you install are going to want to access information from your PC in order to gather data about you. Now, this isn't always a bad thing. Sometimes it helps the application function properly. Sometimes it helps the application learn things about you that are important to its function. So it kind of just depends. Sometimes though applications ask to access things that maybe you don't want them to have access to. And you can control that from the privacy section of the settings application, among some other things. So there are some general settings here, like turning off your advertising ID, and then you can also turn off the smart screen filter. And then there's some information that gets sent to Microsoft here, like information about your typing and writing, which is going to help them improve their typing and writing algorithms. And then this feature here provides websites with your location in order to provide locally relevant content. So for instance, if you use Fandango.com to find movies, it's going to use your location in order to be able to tell you which movie theaters are showing the movie that you want nearby. Or for instance, if you're looking for a hotel in the area, the website will then be able to access your location so that it can find a hotel near you. Of course, if you don't want that on, you can turn that off. If you go to the location settings, these are the applications here that have permission to access your location. So you can turn this on or off. Obviously, weather, that would be nice for that to have your location. Your camera may not need that if you don't care about geolocation. It would be nice for maps to have your location. So certain applications you may not want. Maybe you don't want Facebook accessing your location. You can go and turn that off manually. Same thing goes for the camera. These are all the apps that are asking for access to my camera. And these here are the apps that are asking for access to my microphone. So let's go ahead and turn off Facebook. And then this is Microsoft gathering information. So it's gathering information about speech inking and typing. So this helps Microsoft out with their algorithms so they can better understand and hopefully better recognize language input in the future. If you don't want to participate in that, then you can go ahead and turn that feature off. Turning this feature off globally removes access to your name, picture, and other Microsoft account information to other applications. And then these here are the apps that are asking for access to my contacts. Same for calendar. This feature isn't really used yet. In the future, Microsoft is going to have an application that will allow you to send text and MMS messages via your Windows 10 device, similar to the way that iMessage works with its message syncing, you know, its text SMS message syncing between the iPhone, the iPad, and the uh, Mac OS X. This feature is going to be coming to Windows 10, probably not until 2016. Certain apps may eventually ask for access to your radios, like Bluetooth. So there may be an app in the future that allows you to send information via Bluetooth between different devices. So if you have an application like that, this is where you would manage access here. Background apps is another very useful feature. So these can actually affect your battery life and the performance of your device, depending on the applications that have access to backgrounding. In Windows 8 and 8.1, Microsoft restricted the number of background apps to, I believe it was eight, but that number has been extended. It looks to be unlimited here. So that's nice, but it also means that there might be a lot more apps running in the background. So some things you may not need running in the background. Get Office, I don't need that running in the background. I don't necessarily need the People app running in the background, although maybe that's doing some sort of syncing in the background. The Photos app, it's nice to have that running in the background, so it's syncing photos from OneDrive. In general, the more apps that you have with this feature on, the slower your PC is going to run and the faster it's going to consume battery. That's it for privacy. Thanks for watching.